Microsoft is going to be clamping down on a local account, which means you do not own your computer. So whenever you buy these things, these computers, these desktops, these these handhelds, I guess we're going to use the Steam Deck as an example. When you buy a device, okay, you should have access and you should do whatever the fuck you please, okay? So, let me explain. Microsoft is going to be clamping down on Windows 11, which means local accounts are going to be completely out the door. And so when you try to set up an, a local account, we link down in the description if you like, I don't know which way the link down in the description if you guys want to go ahead and read up on this. So when you attempt to when they and, and it's going to go in fucking beta, trust me, when you attempt to create a local account, upon setting up Windows 11, which is going to force a bunch of users to go to Linux altogether, which I don't mind. I think Linux is better than, than Windows, but we're going to set that aside. When it comes to Microsoft and them cracking down on local accounts, which means a local account basically is you're not forced to sign in. Okay. Let me give you an example. This right now, we are sitting on, ignore that, this is a local account, okay? However, going to my actual account, it says activate Windows. You know, obviously, I then signed in to my Microsoft account right after. How I like to do things is I, I set it up as a local account, install everything I need without Windows updating and fucking something up. Now, continuing. Microsoft is going to be cracking down on Windows 11. So what I got for you guys is before, I mean, before I get in, before I finish with the video, link down in the description, I got a modified version of Windows 11. It's Windows 11 Pro. It's basically a deep loaded version of, of when obviously, like I said, Windows 11 Pro. So. You don't want to deal with Microsoft's bullshit, and also I'd recommend you guys don't fucking update it the moment you guys... And I, I will make a video on that later, by the way, on how to bypass the Windows 11 or the, the updates, especially with this. I have all updates disabled for a reason. You're safe, I promise. Don't If you just don't go on Pornhub, you don't fucking search the... You don't go anything outside the safety uh, realms of, like this okay so anyway microsoft wants to crack down on local accounts rendering the ownership of your privacy and ownership of your computer i have uploaded a build of windows 11 pro d deep loaded without the spyware from microsoft although you guys like i stated go to fucking linux continuing i believe in privacy and ownership hashtag fuck microsoft and then it'll have like the article down here if you guys want to go ahead and read up on it as well. But also link down link down in the description. Anyway, so when it comes to ownership, you know, these companies want to continue fucking over their user base and having more control. That's exactly what a, a lot of these companies do. They're they're in for it for the control so that they can spy on their users and sell your data. That's what Microsoft is going to that's what basically let's put it put it lightly. Microsoft wants to sell your data. The reason why they want you to make a official account instead of a local account just so that they can take your data and sell it. Now a quick little information on like well it's right here. A lot of these things that you can do, obviously, if you are on Windows 11 right now, is there are some things that key elements that you can disable, like connected user experience and telemetry in the services. You, obviously, disabling this will, like, this is spyware. Another bit of information related to spyware is system main. Believe it or not, that is technically spyware. 
if I can find it. Right here. Spy system main. Another spyware. So, a lot of these things you can disable. And by the way, uh, connected user telemetry experience is disabled. But the one thing I forgot to disable is system main. So when you download uh, this right here, what's going to end up happening is you, it's feel free to like it's hysterical I called it fuck Microsoft but you'll get Rufus and then you'll you'll within this folder called you own your computer is Windows 11 Pro now it's not activated grant but you do own you you will have more control over what you you own you can disable updates you can there's a a bunch of stuff that you guys can do which is why i'm recommending you guys just download this instead and obviously you know go to at your own risk use at your own risk but it's pretty much as as safe as it as it can be so obviously Microsoft wants to, you know, spy on their users and control their user base. Realistically, when it comes to, I mean, obviously, I made a video a while back. If buying isn't owning, then piracy isn't stealing. So, when it comes to a lot of these companies wanting to have access to your data, have access to controlling what you do. They're going to be completely by like removing the the bypass every bypass method that obviously exists for Windows 11, so, which you know as as a as a user you should have the right to do whatever the fuck you want on your computer when you buy when you buy a device when you buy a game when you buy something when you pay money for something just to own it you should have I mean basically when you when you go out and you buy these things, you should have you you should do whatever the fuck you want, okay? Which is why I'm pushing people to go to Linux for one, and for two, like if you don't want to go to Linux, like I stated, you got this. This is another option. So, obviously, Microsoft wants to clamp down on this, and you know what? Fuck you know what? fuck fuck you, Microsoft. Fuck you. I believe in ownership when it comes to the... You know, realistically, if you think about it... Drink some coffee, God. My throat's dry from talking. Realistically, if you really think about it, if I were to work at micro... If I, if I were like... I don't know what they would call it, but... If I owned Microsoft, this ain't gonna. This wouldn't be it. You know, think about it. The, the the havoc I would do to to Microsoft to better things, just to make sure my user base sticks around. Nah, that this ain't this ain't it. And I do not believe that we should tow with our user base. I do not believe forcing users to make an account when they don't feel like making an account, which also, by the way, is a security risk as well. Because, say for instance, you don't want you don't want to make a local account, right? Say for instance, like okay, so to put put it lightly, say for instance, you create a uh, local account. That local account is at risk for being hacked, despite of what they state. There's, I mean, Microsoft security is already dog shit as it is. And when it comes to adding your account onto a computer and then having the hacker, like, steal your, your credentials right from that computer, in that same email could be tied to, like, the rest of your accounts because you added your Microsoft account onto your computer, which is what Microsoft is trying to push, doesn't that state a big problem? You know, I think Linux is literally the best way to go. I don't.
believe that it's looking I, I just don't see a future with with windows i don't they, i know they're trying to push for the the this handheld version of windows with the the fucking was it the the x the unofficial xbox handheld i technically still haven't gotten really over that that's like another story but when it comes to microsoft's bullshit and towing with their users and forcing their users to on their own computers Microsoft that you didn't they didn't buy that computer for you. you you went and bought bought this the 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 gaming PC which I'm pretty sure you guys don't see right now but I'm not gonna fuck with the camera I, it it's I don't know there's a short in it and literally I don't know what's going on with the the picture anyway the point is you buy a computer Microsoft didn't buy it for you you they didn't give it out for free you bought that computer you paid almost like two thousand dollars for it just for Microsoft to force you to create an account on it, which you know I don't agree with. And like I said, you should have ownership of what you what you buy and pay for. So I implore you guys to go ahead and the moment you if you buy a computer at all, do not start that bitch up, please. Go go here. If you, I mean, you're, you're going to obviously need a second computer. Go here, download this version, install it onto your computer, and it works with, this is what I'm, this is literally what this is. This is what I'm doing, okay? Like, despite the activate Windows watermark, it, like, you guys want to activate it, so find a way to, you can. You guys don't have to, but when you when you buy a computer... Download this version. Fuck Microsoft. You know? Like, I don't I don't agree at all. I don't agree with this shit. I think this shit's stupid. We should have the right to have... A, we, sh we should not have to for be forced to sign into our accounts. This has been a, an ongoing issue since with Windows 11. I hate Windows 11. I fucking hate it. I know that this is technically Windows 11, but it's Windows 11 Pro, but you have more control, and it's de-bloated. None, none of the bloatware at all, other than what you put on the, like whatever you put on your computer. And I guarantee you, the moment that fucking God knows, like Windows 12 comes out, it's gonna get to a point where you're not gonna even be able to download the apps and games that you want. I mean, it's literally what Android next year is gonna start fucking cracking down on. So, you know, Linux. Anyway, that's all I had to say. I, you know, please come here if you guys want to have ownership over what you pay for, and just download this version. We we don't we don't want. Oh, Windows. We don't want this garbage. We we don't want this garbage. We don't want this garbage. This is garbage. Do not come here. Black this blacklist this shit. Come here instead. Now, I'm not forcing you guys to like just download this. I mean, if you if you don't care at all, yeah. I, I mean, feel free to do like download this. But you you want your data stole sold, or do you just want to you know own like have access to your own stuff? And now, Grant, yes, you can disable a lot of the the stuff in the in the. In the services, obviously, with, uh, I mean, who knows, by this point, with the latest version of Windows 11. And on top of that, you get better, slightly better performance with a de-bloated version of Windows 11 than you do with this garbage. So, in general, like I stated for the third time, like, Linux is the way to go. SteamOS is the way to go. I know that's, it's still Linux, but that's why I'm mentioning it. You get a better experience with Linux than you do with Windows. But if you really want to stick with Windows and not have to deal with the bullshit, I got you guys covered. So, otherwise, that's it for me today. I just wanted to, you know, basically shed light on this and offer you guys a way out when it comes to this. I think this is bullshit. 
and Microsoft can just go fuck themselves. Realistically, if I were to go to court, I doubt this is this is literally like stretching way too far ahead. But if I were to go to court over this shit, I'm going to win. I'm going to make sure because I don't think our user, I don't think anybody or our our user base should be forced to agree to be having their data sold because Microsoft is forcing you to create a a actual account versus a local account, which you're technically a lot safer doing, to be perfectly honest, is doing a local account, even though as much as they want to tout security purposes, no, that's actually anti-security purposes. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? You know, you want your data sold? Or you, you want to go the Linux route? Or you want to go this route? Let me know down in the comment section. I, I'm not agreeing with this. Personally, I think it's stupid. So, that's it for me for today. As always, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, leave a like, comment below. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next one. Got another uh, video coming up relating to kind of a test, kind of upgraded just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Keep, I'll keep you all posted.